In yet another example of practical shooting sports pioneering technology that is becoming mainstream, thumb rests are now becoming popular for right-handed shooters on what would otherwise be called production guns. This technology is lifted from open guns in IPSC and USPSA, and they've been using thumb rests for literally years. The purpose of a thumb rest is to provide an additional point of leverage in order to control muzzle climb so there's less muzzle oscillation to recover from, so follow-up shots can be faster, but do they actually work. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel, the only gun channel on YouTube that represents the perfect overlap of shooting enthusiasts and monster truck enthusiasts on the Venn diagram. What's that? You don't like monster trucks? Then you don't like shooting! I'm David and today we're going to be talking about thumb rest. Now the thumb rest that I used was on the Sig Sauer P320 lineup of pistols that was furnished by Align Tactical. I was curious whether the thumb rests were going to work and they said, hey, here's the thumb rest, check it out. So I did. Now there is a correct technique for actually utilizing a thumb rest. It's not just you put it on your gun and immediately your muzzle stops climbing as much. In fact, I would say it's probably the opposite of that. There is resistance applied by the tip of your left hand thumb on the thumb rest that prevents the muzzle from climbing. You're not pushing hard into it with like positive pressure, but you're more or less resisting. It's another point of leverage resisting the muzzle climbing. It is a technique that needs to be learned, so it will take practice to adopt to begin to be able to exploit. Now there are criticisms of these types of devices that it creates steering the gun in recoil. And what that means is when you're shooting fast, you want the sights to lift and return to the same point of aim. You don't want the sights to lift and then come back lower or higher not to the same point of aim. So you will have to balance your grip in order to achieve that sight return. So I tested the thumb rest a couple different ways. First, I put it on the Mantis X, which has a recoil meter to register how the sight was lifting and returning, both to see where the point of aim returns to after the recoil impulse and just the degree of angle of the muzzle climb. Next, we tried a string of shots to see what happened for like five or six shots in rapid fire to see just how tight the groups could be held and to register the results on target and finally finished up with a set of hammer pairs meaning one sight picture two runs of the trigger all of this was done at 10 yards intentionally to try and outrun these sights so that the effect of the thumb rest would become more apparent and because we're men of science i first tested the gun with my basic grip and you can see what that grip is in this video here now i've got a pretty good grip i do have a bit of a muzzle oscillation that takes place i know how to lock out both my wrists and that's really the key to successful speed shooting so putting on the Mantis X with my basic kind of neutral thumbs forward grip, what I found is I've got about a five to six degree of muzzle climb using the P320 platform. Then I tested it with the Mantis X and the Align Tactical Thumb Rest. And what did I find? I found about an extra degree of muzzle climb, which absolutely doesn't make sense. It makes me wonder if my technique and how I'm using the thumb rest is flawed. Now, I'm not exactly sure why the thumb rest made the grip come higher, but if you look at where the sights return to, it came down slightly higher than where they lifted from on the, the thumb rest versus with my neutral grip, the sights would come back slightly lower which turns out is to be a bit of an advantage, and you'll see that here in the next couple drills. Before we move on, I do wanna talk about how I register my grip onto the pistol and kind of what the big points of focus are on my grip, because putting the thumb rest on does change how I grip the pistol, and I think that may have something to do with it. When I'm using a neutral grip with no thumb rest, I can put a really good squeeze through the low parts of my finger really low down on the gun, and that is where I'm getting the most leverage to hold the muzzle down. When I put the thumb rest on, my grip moves a little bit higher, so I'm giving up that leverage. That's all I can think about why it would do that, but I still would think that the thumb rest results should be roughly the same, if not slightly improved. From a practical perspective though, the results of shooting the rapid fire string were improved. I feel like I can lock out my wrist tendons harder and I can bear on that thumb rest and I'm getting more strength out of my support hand when I shoot with the thumb rest on the pistol. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Just ready, go. All right, that's uh, 
Still a dispersion, but it's all up and down, which is basically due to me not knowing the timing of the gun with this ammo. When I switched over into the hammered pairs, and guys, I went to the range three times to test this and had technical difficulties. So two of them I got footage on and one of them I didn't, but the results were the same each time I went. Hammered pairs were improved by having the thumb rest on versus they're not. So that leaves us with basically conclusions and then kind of some drawbacks you need to be aware of if you're gonna use thumb rests on your pistol. First and foremost, does the thumb rest work as it's intended? Yes, but not for the way that it's marketed as, at least not how I was using using it. They market it as it reduces muzzle climb. I didn't find that to be true. There was no difference in how the dot moved around when I was shooting gun, none that I could perceive anyway, and none that I could certainly exploit. But what I could exploit was how it felt like I was locking out my left wrist significantly harder when I used the thumb rest. I was locking my wrist out in a way that I was not using my neutral grip, and I think that is what really provided the benefit of how the gun was shooting. So as a training tool, if you're not exactly sure about how to lock out your wrist, I really think that the thumb rest is a valuable tool to teach you how to lock out your support hand wrist. But one wrist alone isn't enough. You'll have to figure out how to lock out your strong hand wrist as well. The quick guide to how to do that is pull really hard through these two fingers and kind of press out through your thumb and you'll feel a band of tension across your, your strong hand wrist. So while I recommend a thumb rest to train with and understand how to lock out your wrist if you're a developing shooter, would I use it on my competition gun if I was still shooting carry optics? Probably Probably not. And the reason for that is not because I don't think that they work, it's just it adds complication to the gun. And in competition guns, you gotta buy two of everything. And while they're reasonably priced at just under 60 bucks, it makes the gun a little bit bulkier, a little bit wider, obviously. And I just kind of prefer the more streamlined look of the pistol. The other downside to using a thumb rest is the holster selection becomes more limited. To Align Tactical's credit, they provided an amazing list of holsters that are compatible with their device. I will say that I tried to use one of my CompTAC holsters and I would have to back out the set screws for retention pretty much all the way in order to make it work. Like it goes in, but it has a hard time coming out with the typical retention that I would use on my holster. Do thumb rests take less skill to use? Absolutely not. It takes the same amount of skill, it's just applied somewhat differently. You're using the same fundamental that you use gripping the pistol without them, it's just you're adding another point of leverage with the pad of your support hand thumb. It's still a technique that you're gonna have to learn, develop, and train. It's not really a shortcut, but it can provide a bit of advantage. And finally, the other reason where I probably wouldn't use the thumb rest is I shoot a lot of guns for the channel, and I don't want to develop my grip in such a way that I can only shoot guns with thumb rest or it just jacks with my grip on all pistols that don't have thumb rest because there's a lot of pistol manufacturers that do not have thumb rest compatibility. As far as the Align Tactical Thumb Rest is concerned, I give it nothing but high marks. The machining on it's incredible. It provides uh, straightforward pressure on the pad rather than kind of down and in on the gun. Align is also offering a different mag release that kind of gets the release out of the way of your support hand. So if that's an issue you're having, you might check that out as well. If you want to learn more about locking out your wrist, I've made these two videos that you can check out. And otherwise, I can catch you on the next one.